we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. And to be able to be out there just with this simple technology and a headphone, running by myself, you know, not, not people pointing, saying, oh, there's that blind guy over there, and running, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real feeling of not only freedom and independence, but also, you know, you get that sense like you're just like anybody else. I'm a runner and I did stop running for a long time, for a lot of years, because I was afraid to run. I was afraid I was going to run into something. Uh, I was running the Chicago Marathon with partial vision. I ran right into a post and I said, that's it, I'm not running anymore. And I kind of gave up on it and I didn't know there was the options of having a human guide out there. And so for, for about a decade, 10 years, in my 30s, 40s, I, I really didn't, didn't run. humans are born to run as they say right working with Google and creative lab and the whole the whole team we started small we started trying to see if I could just walk a taped line and have the phone kind of tell me where to go and from that concept from that idea we uh, we decided that we were going to give it a shot of like uh, teaching a kid how to learn where the line is. So we are basically teaching the machine to recognize the line from the camera, the images taken by the camera. Yeah, uh, so the way we did that is we basically collect a lot of images uh, with the line painted in various locations uh, or put on the different locations. And then we fit all those images to the machine learning model and we train those machine learning model with a lot of advanced technology, machine learning technology, to train the model, be able to segment the line in the image. And from that segmentation results, we can predict the line position and orientation. want to fit in we all want to be just like anybody else and uh, and uh, today you know just being out there with other runners in Central Park other New Yorkers that are out here trying to stay healthy through the pandemic it was a it was just a feeling of belonging. Mm -hmm.